duty of Duma is to seek out candidates for Scorpion and recommend integration if they are found suitable. Our actions were in service of this mission. However, recent events have given us reasonable cause to question the validity of Scorpion principles. What's this all of a sudden? You struggle to understand the Centralists. Our fundamental principles also. Although integration greatly expands our diversity and potential for evolution as a life form, the Centralists have clearly been influenced by the ambition of the Pan-Galactic Federation. And they have now chosen a path that involves attacking fellow Scorpio. We believe that Scorpio has proceeded in an overly uniform manner in our continuous quest for evolution. But... Would this not be the same even if you had not made contact with the Federation? Correct. It appears to be one of the inherent dangers of Scorpion's ideology. Pursuit of our goal so excessive that it drives us to invasion and even harming of our own kind. In short, forced evolution. All this hand-wringing is well and good, but this is the time for action. Even if we don't have all the answers. So, what do you plan to do? It is an undeniable fact that the Centralist Scorpion philosophy is extremely dangerous. We will do whatever we can to stop them. And after that? If we are able to stop the Centralists, we are uncertain of what will happen next. That is something we must consider. I like that. You know, I'm starting to see you less and less as a computer. I'm sure things are gonna work out, right? There's no telling how bad the situation on Vergold is gonna be. Better head to my bunk and rest up while I can. Guess I'll just rest up until we get to about time for a rest. About time for a rest. We will arrive momentarily in the Vergold system. The battle will likely be fierce. All hands, brace for unexpected impacts. Please still be in one piece for me, Vergold. Better get to the bridge. Oh. Status report. Three battleships, one hybrid research vessel, and two Scorpion battleships have invaded Vergold space. The Virgoldian fleet has engaged them. We are approximately 13 minutes away from the main combat zone. Schematics. So the Virgoldians have them outnumbered. Maybe there is some hope after all. Well, it's not really that simple. There's no telling how long the Virgoldian fleet's shields will hold up against Federation battleships. Seven minutes. <sighs> Damn. Tactical. Displaying tactical map. Ugh. Now what? Three Federation vessels and one Scorpion battleship are approaching the combat zone. Two will arrive in 12 minutes. The other two, within the hour. Even if the Aldis starts fighting now, this situation looks bleak. You come all this way just to retreat? No, never. But I gotta make sure that our info on the Scorpion is shared with my family. We're gonna cut across that battle zone and land on Vergol. But we'll never make it, Ray! I don't have any combat pilot experience. I will take over primary navigation. Please provide support. But Roger, three minutes. Captain, the battleship Sadith has broken away from the Vergoldian fleet. Their warp drive is damaged. Two Federation battleships are pursuing them. Phase cannons charging. They're going to fire. They're going to fire on an incapacitated ship? Shit, bring us about. Go help the Sadith. Impossible. 
If both ships come after us, they will be destroyed in a single barrage. Damn! Damn, damn, damn! We should continue with our initial plan. Our only option is to reach headquarters and share what we have learned of Scorpion and the Federation with the Lawrence family and the military. Wait, what is this? What do you see? Look at tacticals. Two of the Federation ships have left the battle line, and they are now heading for the planet. What do they think they can do with just two ships? Surprise attacker, no, they're never gonna get through the planetary shields. Ray, we're about to return to conventional space. We better settle on a plan. We're going after those two ships that left the front line. Got it. Now entering conventional space. Gonna be following those ships at a safe distance. Hey, they aren't headed for the whole world. This course is set for... Vergnus. They must be after the Simbo drives on Vergnus. Yeah. Chase them with everything we got. Send an emergency transmission to the military. The fleet they're facing is a feint. We are already at maximum speed. We will not catch them. They are 20 minutes ahead of us. Have you gotten a response from the military? Captain, we're receiving a transmission from Vergnus. It doesn't appear to be from the military. Put them through. Dag! What? Well, well. Glad to see you punks are in one piece. Dag! I'm gonna have to keep this short. The main fleet is a bait. Their real target is Provenience Cavern on Vergnes. Two of their battleships are headed there now. Keep your pants on. Maybe you forgot, but Vergnes has a permanent defense fleet. It'll take more than a couple of Federation ships to get through them. Raul Lawrence, this is Lieutenant Mario L. Kenny of the Pangalactic Federation. Please, sir, heed your son's warning. These ships are renegades, broken away from the fleet's chain of command. Normal assumptions do not apply. Why is there a Kenny aboard the Aldus? Uh, long story. We've been through a lot here. Dad, this is important. I need your help in getting the data we have to the military ASAP. <laughs> These bastards, they're Scorpion. They're not what you think. Federation ship sighted. They're transferring down. So, they broke through the planetary shield? Security, strengthen frontal defenses. Hmm. Looks like this ain't gonna be as easy as I thought. The commander of defense on Bergness is an old pal of mine. Send me your data. I'll convince him. But I want you two to get the hell out of this. Wait, what? Hey, you don't really think the Aldus can take on a fleet of battleships now, do you? Get out of the combat zone and keep yourselves alive. Got that? Over and out. I believe Raoul's judgment here is sound. All we have done will be for nothing if the Aldus is destroyed. Ray. What? A Federation vessel is hailing us! Have we been spotted? No. If they were with Remington, they would have shot without warning. Put them through. Understood. Putting them on screen now. This is Admiral Luca Maverick. Hailing from the Pangalactic Federation vessel GFSS 1007T, the Kalnas. Admiral Maverick? What do you want, Admiral? Here to ask for our surrender? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not rush to conclusions here. Would it help at all if I told you I've spoken with Curtis? Our vessel is headed for Vergald along with one of our newest battleships. At maximum warp, as we speak, to put an abrupt stop to Remington's incursion. We should be there in around 40 minutes. Can you hold out for that long? The Vergoldian fleet might just barely make it, but they've also put forces down on Vergnus and have started attacking cities and civilians. Detached force, huh? You require any backup? No, no. We'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, think you can handle it? Sure, we'll be fine. <sighs> I can't apologize enough for Remington's actions and the cowardice of the Federation. Yeah, gotcha, but actions speak louder than apologies. Got it. Let's all get through this alive. Over. He's a good man who worked alongside my grandfather at the Federation. We can trust him. Fine. We'll let the military and Admiral Maverick handle the defense of Vergal. We are gonna transfer down to Vergnes. We're gonna go help my dad. Understood. We can transfer down to Lawrence Logistics. Thought you were gonna try to stop me. I never assume that you, Raoul, or Antonio will ever listen to what I say.
Yeah, no point in starting now then. Ant, we're heading to the surface. Once we're there, I want you to move away from Verdness. No need to tell me that. You think I'm gonna hang out here staring down a couple of battleships? Ray. Sorry, but I'm gonna need your help. You need not have asked. Exactly. If it's a fight to save your home, then of course we're going to go. Indeed. Any battle of yours is a battle of ours. My agreement to maintain Elena is still in effect. I must make right the failings of my comrades. Thanks, guys. All right, then. Let's do this! Okay, all set and ready to go. Time to head for the transfer chamber and get to Verdness. Go help them. The neighborhood watch. Get your dirty hides off our lawn, asshole. eliminated. did make it back here in one piece. I'll give you that. Yeah. So, Elena, what are these bastards really after? They are likely here to learn the secrets of the Simbo Drive. The squadron engaging the Vergold defense fleet is a diversion. How do you figure? Many Federation officers that have integrated with Scorpium beamed down on Vergness. I would guess that this is their main force. I still don't know what the hell these Scorpium are, but I get the picture. The Federation's always been on our case to join up, just so they can get their mitts on our Simbo Drive. Ah, looks like they've finally blown their tops. Hey, Ray. Yeah? What is it? How many times have I told you to give me all the important details up front? I, I sent you the data. I passed it on to the Defense Base Commander and told him to read it. I'm busy protecting my business. Ain't got time for that. The hell? <laughs> I'm guessing this all means these jerks will be going after the Museum of Vergnesium Symbology. Right, Elena? Seems likely. Am I correct in assuming you all are the resident experts on these Scorpium at the moment? Yeah, definitely. Okay, then. In that case, I'll leave the defense of the museum to you. I'll send word along to the Vignesian military and police. Just make sure you keep this city safe. Got that? Don't worry about that. We're on it. Ha, huh, good answer. Don't screw this up. Once we've taken care of this mess, bring your friends around. We'll have one hell of a party. Yeah. The Museum of Symbology is just south of here. We're counting on your help. You helped save our home. Now it's time we help you save yours. Initiate so, emergency protocols. Yeah, sorry you have to see it like this. Normally it's quite safe. Don't let us make it snow. Neutralize. Go. Insufficient. Oh, 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 oh,
Target sighted. Target sighted. Target sighted. I will take point. Prepare yourself. <laughs> Positional infection. This should do it. Accelerating. Let's get up close and personal. Hang in there. What the threat neutralized. Target sighted. We won't be getting any further this way. Let's head along the southeastern side. Good bunny. the museum if we continue on south from here. Levels, 
located. is this? It's a museum for showing off Vergnus's development over the past 300 years. And it's also the location where the Simbo drives were discovered. Those Simbo drives are the reason why we have advanced androids like Elena here. So you mean the technology used to create Elena came from here? That is generally correct. Simbo drives are compact, semi-permanent energy sources that run off converted energy from imaginary number space using energy generation principles that utilize symbology. These drives allowed for dramatic advancements in Vergold's android technology. If this technology was behind your creation, I see why they're so eager to get their hands on it. Midas, was that not a tad indiscreet? He speaks the truth. Anything that makes beings such as Elena possible would be highly sought after. Even integrations with organic life forms cannot support all the power needs of fused cybernetic parts. For a being so advanced, you certainly lack tact. It is not surprising that a semi-permanent, highly efficient power source such as the Simbo Drive would be perceived as potentially beneficial to Scorpium and sought after as a result. Nature does not make leaps. What is that? One of the fundamental theories for evolution on Earth. The theory states that life evolves gradually, a single step at a time. One would think the idea of proceeding step by step could apply to a great many things. Yes, and when evolution takes a great leap forward due to some unusual mutation, it always ends up as a heavy burden for the individual or species in question. The centralists are a mutation. I'm hypothesizing, but when I think about what may happen, should these centralists who are so unpredictable successfully seize this place, it fills me with dread. They must be stopped. This greater change could impact the entire network enormously, irreparably. I agree. However, standing here imagining things will not help us. What the enemy seeks lies below the museum. Let us go and see what we can learn from these invaders. A cave? Yes, it is a cave. But the entrance is only part of the facility. All Verg museums visit the museum when they are students. Right, Ray? Yep, pretty much. However, deep within lies the location where the Simbo Drive was discovered. It supports the industries of not just Vergness, but all of her gold. Are drives normally found in natural caverns? To put it more precisely, symbols were found upon the stone walls within the cavern so this is referred to as the location where the symbo drive was discovered in that these symbols were what made its development possible for gold has kept a tight rein on these symbols and never once shared them with outsiders hence the central is coming here to learn this valuable secret these symbols Mayhaps they were left behind by some ancient civilization or the like? That is unknown. 
Vergold started space exploration 300 years ago. Before that point, Vergnes was an uninhabited satellite planet. We have yet to unravel the mystery of who created these symbols. But would the Federation not be... Uh, no, perhaps not. Mm. The Federation has yet to create an energy technology comparable to the Simbo Drive. While the Federation is more advanced than Vergold in other fields of technology, it's difficult to think they had anything to do with this. Regardless, if this location is important to the history of Vergold, then we cannot let the Pangalactic Federation or Scorpium take it. Yeah, I'm with you there. And uh, I'm gonna need it to brush up on a few things I forgot. Won't be getting any further this way. There must be another path. Blocked yet again. It seems the roof of the cave has collapsed. We've got to find a way to get down to the lower levels. Why not just blast a hole straight to where we are headed? Surely you have the technology to allow for such. Doing so inside these caves could cause them to collapse down around us. We were done for. Is everyone quite all right? to be nothing else ahead. I suggest we try another path. Target sighted. Is this? Is something wrong, Nina? Uh, no. Never mind. It's nothing.
emergency protocols. Threat detected ahead. <laughs> Target sighted. I don't think we'd make it very far down this way. Damn. They've made it even further in than I thought. We better move. Uh -oh. ah! Excited. through one of Vergnus's historic relics. Well, just pretend like we're excavating some new route or something. You would say something like that, but <sighs> so be it. This is an emergency after all.
trifle is beneath me. Perhaps we require more force. We blasted the ground at our feet yet again. Not like we have much choice. Hmm. These really do look familiar. What are you muttering about? Gold symbol drives really that incredible? You can tell just by looking at Elena. There are no androids as advanced as her in the entire Federation. Their symbol drives are the reason that the Golden Interstellar Military is capable of any modern Federation. Hey, uh, we don't have any choice now, do you? Blood must be thrilled. 
similar concerns. But what good would it do if we repelled the centralists, only to have others make similar advances? That is why. Our current coordinates place us in the vicinity of the Simbo Drive. We sure got here faster than planned. Come on, not far to go now. Survival dropping.
Initiate emergency protocol. Enemies up ahead. Ready yourself. This is... Yeah! There's no doubt about it! How could this be? Why is this here? Is there something wrong? It looks just like it! Just like in the ancient coil in Nilba, where we excavated the Levitas ore! Now that you mention it... Detecting incoming attack. Initiate emergency measures. What? Poldor! Do you not find it simply wondrous, Leticia, my child? Each time I experience the vastness of the Scorpium network, I am reminded of how small I once was. The Centralists are not the entirety of Scorpium. We soon will be, and so His Excellency, our Sovereign, seeks the Simba Drive. See for yourselves, Boldor. Are these the ones who oppose our centralist cause? Indeed they are, Your Excellency. Admiral Remington! A familiar face, one of Bennett, and a descendant of the Kennys. What drives you to do this? You violated Federation regulations, used military assets for personal purposes, and furthermore, concealed the existence of Scorpium itself and the situation at Veer. You will face retribution for your actions under Federation law! 
We do this for the Pangalactic Federation, for universal peace and prosperity. Surely a Kenny would understand. Don't be ridiculous! Ronix J. Kenny once interacted with the people of Planet Rook, set foot on the Forbidden Planet Styx, and led us to victory in our conflict with the planet Farkas. <sighs> Claude C. Kenny violated your precious pact, planting the seeds of the planet Expel joining the Federation. As a result, our studies of symbometrics expanded greatly. Yes, but... It was much the same when your ancestor, Captain Emerson, found gravitic engine technology. <sighs> History has proven that the law must be broken at times to move worlds forward. And at this moment, that role falls upon my shoulders. What authority does a Kenny have to try and stop me? I... I... I'm... Don't listen to this ass, Mario. He's just trying to manipulate you. Oh, really? The reason for Mariel's ancestors breaking the rules was because following them would have led to the deaths of lots of innocent people. Don't lump them in with a dumbass trying to steal other people's stuff for his own selfish gain. A Vergolvian defending the crimes of the most esteemed family in the Federation. Now this is rich. Those crimes were defined by the Federation on its own terms. Your rules don't mean shit to those of us on the outside. Ray, I'm okay now. Thank you. What you say is true. My family's track record as soldiers of the Federation was perhaps never the most praiseworthy. And my distaste for my family's legacy is precisely why I swore to myself that I would uphold Federation law to the letter during my career. But I will not abide by words from you. Childish logic. Excusing your own actions because someone else did it? Have you no shame? A Kenny through and through. Your Excellency. It would appear reaching a consensus with these fools through discourse in the physical realm is futile. What shall we do? They serve no purpose in the expansion of the Federation or the evolution of the Scorpio. Any who would keep the Simbo drive from us are undeserving of mercy. Baldor, just what do you think you are doing? Did you come all this way simply to be used by this petty man? <laughs> Is that not as it should be, Leticia, my child? You wish to stop me, yes? Then is it not to your benefit that your foe be small and weak? My actions are all for the benefit of Scorpium and the Centralists. Fight me! <laughs> Scorpion Network. Thus, I would like to ask that you all join me in celebrating my coronation and your submission. Hold on. This statue needs to It shall be done. Insufficient power. 
impressive. It would seem my efforts were not sufficient. <laughs> it appears my confidence in him was misplaced. Differences in individual performance are hard to predict. That is how you would speak of one who pledged loyalty and would die for you? You are a most contemptible wretch indeed. You still say such things after all that you've seen. There is no concept of loyalty within Scorpion. We are a group within the greater Scorpion network, with myself occupying the top position of Sovereign. Nothing more or less. Incompatible. The term Sovereign is entirely incompatible with the Scorpion we understand. Had things been different, you would have been my father-in-law. It is unfortunate that this is how your life ended. But... I will avenge you. This is evolution. The greatest evolution in the cosmos. The everlasting prosperity of the Pan-Galactic Federation begins now under my rule. We will never let that happen! Remington Kurtzman, your misguided ambitions end here and now! Stay sure. That looks a bit to you, know? Hang in there! 
Mission out. What's your name? What's your name? Thank <laughs> you. 
Federation and Scorpion are gonna be much better off with you out of the picture. Damn it all! I only integrated to build a utopia! A union between Scorpion 
Did you truly believe a fool such as you would be appointed sovereign? You have been nothing more than a stepping stone to prepare the network for the true sovereign. That is the consensus of our network. <laughs> you just... Felling me or Remington will not halt Scorpion. Oh, we're definitely gonna stop your invasion of her gold. We'll speak to those Scorpion that have faculty of speech and enforce Federation regulations. This kind of Scorpion lawlessness will not be allowed in the galaxy any longer. If the conceptual sovereign individual vanishes, in time, Scorpion will be restored to our correct state. <laughs> correct. <laughs> correct. You understand nothing. Neither you nor Remington know what is true, what is correct in this life. He truly dead this time. We can confirm that the individual named Voldor is deceased. Remington's biological activity has also ceased. I would assess that we have stopped the centralist insurrection for the time being. Small comfort after everything. It could not have been your wish to fall so far from home. Door, all this suffering, to what end? The invaders just gave themselves up at fleet headquarters. I don't know. It's all a little too suspicious, if you ask me. Might have expected this much from Scorpium. From how I see it, with their sovereign gone, their network is probably reverted back to putting everyone on an equal level again. Is that how they work? <laughs> yeah, I have my doubts about the surrender, that's for damn sure. Do not assume the deeds of Remington's faction representative of Scorpion as a whole. But, I too must acknowledge the faults and dangers within the Scorpion quest. For further and further integration, the risks must not be overlooked. I'd say the Pan-Galactic Federation is more to blame for these centralists. Do tell. Coaxing in brand new members with all this talk of peace and the advance of civilization. That, uh, sound familiar? <sighs> At least Scorpium keep a certain amount of equality among themselves. But the more the Federation grows, the more the Upper Brass consolidate their power. This whole ordeal with Remington and the Centralists was just the worst parts of both brought together. I'll admit, I find it hard to refute that. 
The Federation has no choice now but to take a good long look in the mirror and figure out how to piece itself back together. What's going to happen to all the officers who turn themselves in? They could very well claim they had no choice but to comply with Remington's orders after integrating with Scorpion, which might actually grant them immunity from Vergaldian law. I don't expect the local system government's got a damn idea what the Scorpion even are. Gonna have a hell of a time trying to talk peace. I'm quite aware. I expect to be made responsible for bringing an end to the situation. Which is why your son's data is so crucial. I'm hoping I can count on your assistance. The future of both Vergold and the Federation depend on it. Just be sure there's something in this for me, huh? I got a business to run, you know? Duly noted. Captain Raymond, thank you once again. Your efforts have allowed the Federation a chance to correct its course. <laughs> None of what we've done was for the Federation's sake. Well, be that as it may, the Federation skirted a full and devastating collapse thanks to your efforts. Lieutenant Mariel, I have looked at the Scorpium data you provided. I was surprised by your confrontation with the Virian soldiers who crash-landed on the planet. Aster 4 is an underdeveloped planet, is it not? Yes, sir. About that. You were doing what you thought was right, correct? Upholding what were once core values of the Federation, lost under Remington's lead. Yes, sir. But I believe that it should not excuse me from Federation law, though. I knowingly violated the UP-3. For that, and for the illegal seizure of the merchant vessel Akizuki, I should be brought to trial. Well, I can't argue with that. W wait Those of us in positions of power can never let the ends justify the means, regardless of the outcome. But still... That said, the Federation's in no shape to court-martial you right now. I'll take full responsibility for your deeds until a more appropriate time presents itself. You stay here with your friends. Uh. All things considered, Lieutenant Mariel, I think you made the best calls you could. Your actions don't tarnish your family name. Far from it. Making as much known should serve you well when the time comes to face the jury. Admiral. Don't you leave us now, you hear? If the Federation is in bad enough shape as it is, we don't need to lose another talent like yourself. Sir! And I expect there will be talk of making Aster Four a Federation protectorate in the near future. You should expect to have some eyes on you as a member of the planet's royal line. What is this protectorate of which you speak? I can explain it all to you later. I'll also discuss whether the Federation even retains the capabilities to do so. So, what will the rest of you do next? Well, the Centralists have been busted up. My home world's safe and sound again, and Bulldore's gone. Right. Y yes And with the whole of it now behind us... Seems like our journey's at its end. Time for our princess to make her triumphant return. Signs indicate there are more centralists at work out there. Vergold's assistance will be of the utmost importance in resolving this matter. Raymond, is 
this your home? I dare say it rivals a castle in size. Just how influential is your family? Despite all Dad's grandstanding, it doesn't look like any of our people were hurt. Burn the image of the city. We should head back to the Aldis first. I'm fine now. I can say for certain that nothing my family has done in. Sadly, deciphering the coils of Provenian's cavern. I may not understand all of what I saw here. Sweet! With the destruction. Watch it. What am I doing? Why, I'm committing everything here to memory so I can share with Malthea and Marcus. What am I... Ray, recently I feel as if I am being watched at all times. As if I am being followed. You what? Is everything all right? Yes. The culprit does not appear to have ill intentions, but I believe they watch us this very moment. Right now? Hey, you there! Yeah, Sneaky Pete! Come on, stop hiding and show yourself! What? I am no stalker! Well, then, what are you doing sneaking around spying on Elena? Oh, satisfying my intellectual curiosity. Every step she takes, every move she makes, it's all foreign to me. After coming to where androids are created, my interest is boundless. You know, I hear a lot about what you want, but not a lot of empathy. You bothering Elena, buddy? You gotta do it in moderation. Think, man. You're acting like some kind of big creep weirdo right now. Uh, you are right. That was impolite of me. You feeling any better now, Elena? So long as he does not attempt doing the same thing to others, there should be no issue at all. 
I apologize for lurking about. Instead of watching from the shadows, from now on I'll shout at you to do whatever I need to study. Ah, oh, you're missing the point. You don't just shout commands. Despite all dad's... Maybe we should take our time here. I detect that the others are somewhat reluctant to bid farewell to the greater galaxy. <laughs> 